the smile pretty easy effect here so we'll go smile I don't believe that we have to expand but let's just try real quick so if I go to arch yeah so we don't um, when I want effect there you go warp and it will give you all these options uh, you can try and find the one you want but you can also click on the one and then still go through all the options here if you weren't quite happy with the one you chose so I'm gonna try the lower arch here and as you can see it is arching it out on the vertical axis uh, so we're gonna switch that to horizontal here and now you can tell it's resembling the smile a lot more so we'll just hit OK. It's not as smiley as the last one, but no big deal. And then uh, I'm not going to add the eyes, but you guys can do that as you please. So that's just adding an arch. If you wanted to have, like, say, um, it going upwards, if you add an effect onto anything, uh, so it doesn't apply to these ones because those are directly edited without effects, but this one we did use an effect. So we can go over here to the Appearance tab and you can actually see that effect that you did. So then we can click on that and let's say I'm not happy with that anymore. So let's just change it up and put it upwards. Now let's go for the neon sign here. So let's make a box and then I'll just type neon. I'm going to want it white, so double clicking on that, let's just change it to white. We'll add a little bit of color in there, but not too much. And then I want the outline of the neon, not the fill. So if you come over here, this is your fill color, and then this is your stroke color. Uh, outline stroke, I kind of use them interchangeably. So, and then let's just hit the swap fill and stroke. So we're getting our outline. It's a little thin. I would like it a little bit thicker. So you can go up here to stroke. And let's go to about three. It's looking, looking pretty good. And if you ever want to adjust the stroke a little bit more, you can click on the stroke up here. And this will change things so that we can round the corners. We can make them more uh, projecting. We're just going to stick to the butt. And then uh, you can round the joints here. Can I zoom in? So you can tell that they, they rounded out a little bit more. So let's keep that in the style of neon. It is a little bit more round. And then we can put the stroke on the inside. We can put the stroke on the outside. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's changing too much for us on this. It will play a benefactor in different scenarios though. So we're going to go ahead and go up to Effect, Stylize, and the Drop Shadow. And then, so we can't see it right now, that's because the mode is on multiply. So if you have a dark image background like our black square, multiply is not going to work. Uh, it would work for more white backgrounds and darker colors. And then screen is what is going to give us more of a light. So that's looking pretty good, but let's bring it back up as if it's like the light. Maybe try changing the color. And so the blur, how much it's going to blur. Uh, let's actually maybe keep this one. And let's go ahead and Command or Control C to copy. And then Command or Control with Shift and V. So that will paste it right in place. And as you can see, it's more apparent now. So if I take that away, pressing Command Z, you can see there's less color behind. So let's redo that. And then let's go into the drop shadow here and maybe make it a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter of a color. So you're kind of getting a little bit more out of that. And there's our neon sign. So let's move on to the secret here. Same concept, we're using a drop shadow. Um, the only difference is we are going to match the color of the background. So we got pink here. So we have our secret here. And then let's just 
press I for the eyedropper and match it there. Go to Effect, back to Stylize, Drop Shadow. And there we go. Uh, for this instance, this is looking all right. I'll maybe drop this down to 0.5. And no, I think I'll keep it there, but I will turn the opacity down, so how much it is visible. I think 50 will probably be better. And then instead of the light color, I'm actually going to go for a darker color. And then we're going to have to change that one to multiplies. So it kind of stands out like uh, it's 3D text with the shadow as opposed to it being like lit up. And then the wavy. Similar concept to this smile, it's using an effect. We'll just type wavy. You don't have to expand these ones either. Let's go to effect, uh, warp, and I believe this one was wave. All right, so you can just kind of play around and see what you're getting. And then just keep playing till you're comfortable. We could even cycle through these so fish, it's almost making like the size of, or I mean the shape of a fish. Fish, or sorry, fish eye will kind of bulge out. We'll go back to wave, and I will actually set this on the vertical axis. That's a little too much. It's a, it's a little illegible, so if you're trying to make titles or logos, you still need the, the type and the texts to be legible. They need to be able to read it through and through and know what it is that they're reading. So let's just turn it down so there's a slight wave to it, but nothing too crazy. So I'm liking that. So let's keep it there. 